someone there? <laughs> show yourself! I demand you show yourself at once! <laughs> I said! I've never seen a human in this part of the woods. What are you doing here? I was tracking a deer. I lost my way. Is that all? Who are you to question me? I am the Naiad who protects this river. You may call me Elenera. That's impossible. Naiads are a creature of myth. If your race was pursued on the sexual whims of others, you would prefer your existence be reduced to legend too. Make a good point. Do all Naiads wear a veil like yours? No, my sisters are luckier than I am. Their mistakes do not burden them as mine do. What mistakes? Arrogance. It is easy to earn a human's forgiveness when you offend them, but the gods are not as kind. They will curse you, forcing you to distance yourself from your family and friends out of fear for your own life. I don't understand. I claim to be more beautiful than any goddess. The egos of the gods are fragile, so my statement did not sit well with them. They cursed me so that whenever anyone looks at my face, they will try to kill me, regardless of who or what they might be. I isolated myself to limit any potential harm, but my veil is what keeps me safe. It's the only true protection I have. If your life was in danger, why did you approach me? Why didn't you stay away? I've lost track of how long I've spent my life in solitude. In my isolation, I learned existence is meaningless without companionship. Alone, I am known only to the wilderness, but with another, I am known to someone who can define my being. Neither the trees nor the animals can prove I ever existed in this moment, but you can. If opening my world to you means I might die, then I can do so knowing anyone acknowledged my existence at all. It was rude of me not to introduce myself earlier. My name is Raul. Hello, Raul. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. The sun does not take long to set, and this forest grows dangerous at night. I encourage you to return home. There's a beaten trail ahead. If you take it, it should lead you to the main path. Even though I've just acknowledged your existence, you should not be resigned to permanent solitude. I will return, no, no. back. What made you think I wouldn't? The humans I knew in my time were vain, selfish creatures. They define themselves only by their avarice and worldly desires. Well, I like to think that not all humans are like that. Certainly not me, anyway. It seems not too long ago that men would chase my sisters for sport, but you do seem different. Perhaps humans have changed. Civilization has evolved. No longer do we live in mud huts. We live in towering structures called castles. Do you live in a castle, Raul? Not quite. I live just outside the castle walls, but in my humble opinion, the two are indistinguishable. It appears I have missed an abundance of societal advancements in my absence. What else is there? Here. This is a compass. No matter what direction it's facing, it always points north. There's so much to show and tell you about. What do you miss the most? I miss my sisters. Dancing with them, it gave me so much joy. Is there anything else you miss, say, the company of a man? Friendship. Friendship is what I miss most. I understand. But in the future, could you see us being more than friends? Perhaps, but I would prefer not to think about that now. Surely you can just settle for becoming my friend, right? Yes, I suppose I can. You must want this back. Keep it. You find it more interesting than I do. 
Could you bring me other objects? I would love to see the advancements of the modern world. Of course. You'll be here, won't you? Yes. Then I'll come back with plenty of things for you to peruse. I cannot wait. Raul, is everything all right? I've been learning about the compass with this book you brought me. It's remarkable how humanity created such a handy little device. All you care about is this damn book! What about me? I don't understand. When we first met, you said you wanted companionship. You wanted someone to acknowledge you were alive. And you did. And you showed me so many wonderful things, and I can't help but wonder what I can do to help humanity you grow. You can't do that, Ilanera! Why not? Because you're trapped here! You can never leave! I may have found you, but no one else ever will. And even if they did, I doubt they'd be as generous as me. Any other man would have left you like a ravenous wolf. I've entertained your inquisitive fantasies, just as you've entertained mine. But I want more. I've given you everything I have to give. Not everything. You'll kill me. You said you'd be fine dying if someone acknowledged your existence. I did that. I was ignorant. I was deprived of a sense of belonging, but now... You don't need me anymore. No. No, I don't. Please leave, Raoul. 
All I want is to see your face, and I'll leave you alone forever. You will try to kill me. Then you won't have to worry about seeing me again. Leave and never return. This is your final warning. Or what? Right. Uh...